ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to take this wobbler and upgrade him into Miles Morales. You guys remember my Spider-Man from one of the previous episodes? Well, this time we're going to do a new version of Spider-Man. I need to make a very difficult decision. Do I do Miles Morales like this with his beautiful outfit or do I try and do Miles Morales more like this wearing a hoodie? I'm kind of leaning towards the hoodie, but only if we can pull it off. Let's see what happens. First things first, we're gonna go to the clothes and we're gonna go and grab the superhero mask. There's going to be a lot of similarities between Miles Morales and Spider-Man for, well, obvious reasons. So I gotta be honest, I think Miles Morales is cooler. I mean, come on, black and red, way better than just red and blue. Where did that, 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 that Tab G mask go? Where did the superhero mask go? I can't remember. You know what, I'm gonna search for soup, soup, it's not there. Okay, hero. There it is. The Tam G superhero mask. And this time we're going to color it red instead of the usual black. No, this is actually the band. The band becomes black and the mask itself shall become red. And therefore, boom, we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the video. I'm kidding. Oh my God, please, please don't leave. Please. Now, to give it that that white look, because you can't see the eyes of any of the Spider-Men, we're going to add the war goggles. War. War, war, war. Just type in war? Aha! The World War goggles. You take them, you color the green bit white, boom, white eyes, and then the rest of it you color black because it's going to fit in with the black outfit that we're going to give our lovely Spider-Man just like that. Now... It looks like he's wearing a wonderful spider mask. All right, let's uh, let's continue with the head. We gotta cover that head with something large and black, large and black. So I'm thinking like, you know those ski masks? The ski masks you used to wear like, you ever been skiing? I've never, I've never been skiing. I live in Canada, I'm surrounded by snow, but I've never been skiing, but I have worn a uh, balaclava. That's what it's called. Uh, I think it's a Russian word. Bala, this one, boom! Tab G balaclava. Ball, it's a weird word to say, balaclava. There, now it's black. It looks like, it's kind of like an outfit that your mom made for you so you can pretend to be Spider-Man. <laughs> it's kind of what it's looking like right now. I can make this at home. <laughs> take a balaclava, take some ski goggles, take some construction paper, put the red construction paper over your eyes. I can be Spider-Man. <laughs> but right now, it needs something around the, the face. I'm not sold on this look just yet. We need, we need something up there to give it more of a Spider-Man look. And I'm just... Not feeling it yet. What about a ninja cow? You know, that's kind of legit. Minus the fact that it gives you like the weird things out the back. Like if I call this black, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not Spider-Man. Little back things are not Spider-Man. Though that looks so much better in the face. So what about the other ninja cowl that just does the bottom? Take it, color it black. Ooh, I like that. It gives it a bit more of a, a, a nice chiseled Spider-Man jaw or something. I don't know. But I think the Spider-Man face is pretty much done. Now for the Spider-Man body, and you know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. You know what we're going to do. It is the skin tight wetsuit painted black. Because the wetsuit, no, not any of these clothes here. The wetsuit is perfect for Spider-Man. Then again, let's be real. The wetsuit is perfect for pretty much any superhero because superheroes wear skin tight spandex. Boom, we've got our black Spidey outfit. And again, we have to cover the hands and cover the feet. And we've done that before. We've done that for Spider-Man. We've done that for tons and tons of people. We need the Will Nil, Will, Will Niles. I don't know what that says. We need these gloves, colored black, to look wonderful. And then we need, what, what was the boots? It was like a, a, a Wild West shoes. Wild, it was the Western shoes, something like that, because they were small, they were tiny, and they fit the feet really good. Look right there, boom. See, take that, color it black, and it is fantastic. Now, Miles Morales, you can't see anything of him. He's just pure black. Though, looking at these pictures, Miles Morales' gloves are red. He has red fingers on his gloves. So maybe we take the gloves and we make them red. I mean, I can't make just the fingers because what, tab units don't have fingers. How, how do they grab weapons? If you don't have fingers or thumbs, how do you grab anything? We'll give them red gloves because red fingers of Miles Morales. We're looking pretty good, but now we need the Spider-Man symbol. And if you remember, we used that necklace as a spider symbol, but I have a question. Do we have anything else to add because of the new units, the new secret units added in the last update? Some way to give Miles Morales a little bit more than just that little 
symbol on the chest. So before we gave Miles this one and used that as a spider symbol. We also have the cross. I don't know, no, that's gonna work. You've got the Raptor Rider necklace. Eh, don't know about that one. The Tab G pimping out necklace and then the Tab G money necklace, as well as the monk beads. I still think that this necklace colored red is the best we're gonna do to give him a spider emblem kind of look. Now, in these pictures, Miles Morales has a lot of red in the upper chest. I'm talking like he's this really cool spider weapon thing going on. How do I do that to this in tabs with the limited clothing that we have? How do I give him the upper chest red? I need like a weird cape shawl thing around their shoulder. I don't know why. I need something to get, I mean, we need some red up top. I also don't want to give him a cape because Miles Morales doesn't have a cape. <laughs> doesn't have a cape in the slightest. A spooky scarf. No, not a scarf. Banshee chains. Oh, we need to make something cool with these. Like Spawn, though many of you don't know what Spawn is. See, the worst part is you need to give him the red around the front, but not as much around the back. Oh, were we also going to try the hoodie look? Uh, we got to experiment with a hoodie look later. There's really not much in here that's going to do the job. Um, maybe let me just check. That's interesting. Again, compared to the picture, you've got lots of red up top that gives us red up top. It's not super bulky. It's okay. It's just okay. Again, we're trying to work with what we have here in totally Acro Battle Simulator. <laughs> we have limited options. And that's pretty much it for the red up top. Now, the really, 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 really important question. Is it possible to give Miles Morales his hoodie, his signature hoodie that he is seen using in certain comics or certain instances. I think that would definitely differentiate him from just being a black and red Spider-Man. Do we have a hoodie for him? Let's take a look here in the tab G section. There are some hoodies. Like there's this one, but there's I can't really give it any red accents. Well, let's slap it on, right? And let's color it black. And now he's, he's wearing a hoodie, but he kind of looks like he has cat ears. His mask. <laughs> kind of looks like cat ears. However, he is wearing a hoodie. It's an option. We'll remove it for now. I'm not completely sold on it just yet. Are there any other hoodie options? There's a Tab G chemical outfit. That's a bit strange. And I highly doubt that I'm going to find any hoods anywhere else in this list of chest objects. I mean, you do have the spooky hood. I mean, that's, that's a lot of hood. Right? So the problem is you take the spooky hood and you turn it black and I'm not sold on the Miles Morales look. It, it's okay, but there's this, this weird little thing up front. It's not very Miles Morales. Maybe if we go over here. Oh, oh, I can give him a half decent hood here. So I've got like the, the winter hood. No, it's got to be one of these hoods, any one of these hoods. So basically how much do I want? I can just add the spooky hood, right? It's just the hood part, turn that black, and all of a sudden, Miles Morales is wearing a hood. But it, it's not like the hoodie from the pictures. So I think we're going to have to go without the hood and just rock the black and red Spider-Man look. No belts, nothing else. Shoes are black, gloves are red, some red in the upper, the white eyes. Guys, I think we've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is as far as we can go with our Miles Morales look here in Totally Accurate Battle Center. Comment down below and let me know what you think. How did I do on a scale of one to 10? Now for the weapons. We did have that one, that one way of making them throw out spider webs and that was the lasso. So we would take the dark peasant hands, the dark peasant throw, just like this. And then we would change it from dark peasant to lasso, but I want to make them different than Spider-Man. So instead of lassos, I want to do something else, but still be spider webbing. We're going to go with harpoons. A little bit meaner, to be honest. A little bit meaner than lassos. Lassos, like you get surrounded by the webbing. You're like, oh, the webbing's around me. I'm caught. Oh no. The harpoon kind of like punctures you, which is like mean. <laughs> it's more, I don't know if it's more fitting or less fitting, but we're going to do it. Harpoons. He's going to throw the harpoons. Now we need to give him some agility. I want him to be hopping and kicking butt because Miles Morales is awesome. We're going to give him the super jump and we're going to give him, I'm thinking, I want some punches and some kicks. So we're going to do like a Taekwondo kick, make him flop around like that. We're going to punch. I need a really good punch. A really good punch. Like a super boxer punch. Super boxer punch. 
That's pretty legit. All right. Super Boxer Punch. We're going to do... I need some deflecting. Can Spider-Man deflect? No, but he is able to hit spider sets. He's able to dodge. So we're going to give him an amazing dodge. So I'm thinking of the Jester dodge or the Shogun dodge. And I'm going to say the Jester dodge. Let's go with the Taekwondo kick. And then after all that, he needs a way to close the distance. He does have the leap. And that's pretty strong. None of these abilities make sense for Spider-Man in the slightest. I'm thinking we give him the Knight's Charge. So you can charge into battle, jump into battle, kick, dodge, and have a big old Super Boxer Punch. I think that's phenomenal for a Miles Morales, guys. Stats, we're going to give him a bunch of HP so he doesn't die right away. A size is fine. Actually, how, how tall is Miles? I'm six foot, so we'll have six foot be size 1.0, which is the baseline. Miles Morales, how, how tall are you, buddy? According to Google, Miles Morales is 5'8", which is four inches smaller than me. So I will make him 90%. Just a little bit. No, not 90 times. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. 90%. Just a little bit shorter than me. I'm six foot. He's 5'8". There you go. 90%. Weights leave the same. Movement speed. I want to make him a little bit quicker. I mean, he's supposed to be agile. Attack speed. We'll give him some attack speed. And then damage. We'll give him some extra damage. Here he is. Our Miles Morales. Looking phenomenal. A black and red Spider-Man. I love the look of this outfit. He actually looks legit. And the harpoons should be way more effective than the, the lassos. Now it's time for Miles Morales to fight these squires. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Miles Morales is legit, but now he's facing the Dynasty faction. Miles, you, you doing okay? You doing okay in there, bud? You seem to be a little bit stuck. How about you um, extricate yourself from all of these dynasty units here? Let me uh, let me help you out. There you go. Hey, you're doing good. Oh, look at these archers. <laughs> here, you you finish the job, Miles. Oh, God. Miles Morales is just insane. Leaping in. Harpooning all of these units using his web to deadly effect. Look at that. It's it's almost too much. Like, what have we done to Spider-Man? What have we done to Miles Morales? This is just a little bit ridiculous. He becomes a ball of humanity surrounded by, by boats and people, and he's not really able to do anything. The harpoons seemed like a great idea. Oh, there was a super the, the super peasant punch. Super boxer punch. Miles Morales is leaping around. He is agile. He is a, a very, very, very powerful, just like Spider-Man. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm sold the harpoons. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the harpoons. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see even more awesome content, click on these links here. Take you to more amazing tabs and videos. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.